what's the problem? Listen, like, me being gay listen, has nothing to do with listen, me being a dad. It's not about then you being gay. Then what is it? It's then not about you being gay. What is it? On this episode of Ghosted Love Gone Missing, Travis and Rachel help Russell figure out where things went wrong with his girlfriend, Destiny. Hi, Rachel and Travis. I really need your help. My name is Russell, and I ghosted my girlfriend, Destiny, two years ago. That's right. Russell is the one who did the ghosting. About a year into our relationship, I started battling with my sexuality. So I realized that I was living a lie. One night at the bar, I met this guy, Kari. I instantly knew he was gay, but I wasn't yet comfortable with myself. We hung out a few times, we we clicked. I knew that it was wrong, but I started a relationship with Kari while I was with Destiny. I love you. I didn't know how to tell her. Then she told me she was pregnant. So I ghosted her and I blocked her on everything. Wait, I was not ready for that. And he ghosted her when he found out she was pregnant. He said he blocked her on, on everything. So why exactly would Russell ghost his pregnant girlfriend? In my head, being gay was wrong. And I should have been there for her while she was pregnant, but I was scared. Lead us up to the day that you decided to ghost her. Me and Kari was getting real serious. Okay. Started calling ourselves boyfriends and being in a relationship with each other. I was spending less time with Destiny and avoiding her. And then Destiny texted me a sonogram picture. She was pregnant. I was ashamed in my head being gay was wrong. And I didn't want my kid to not be proud of who their father is. And then that's when I ghosted Destiny. Honestly, you guys, I didn't, I, I didn't know what to do. I loved the feeling that I got being with Kari. He was the first man I've ever been with an encounter. I didn't want to lose that. So Russell wants to make things right with Destiny, but now he's been ghosted. Do you have Destiny's social media? Well, I'm blocked, but... We're not. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, there are no pictures no of the baby. No photos of the baby. But there's a baby emoji in her bio. Right. Some people don't like to show their kids yeah. on social media. I totally get that. I tried to hit Destiny up about four months ago. She blocked me. I stopped by the house that she used to live. Nothing. What made you yeah. want to do that? I started building up enough courage to want to be a part of my child's life. I didn't really have my father in my life. My mom gave me up to the system. I didn't want my kid growing up like that. Before Rachel and Travis dig in, Russell has to come clean to Kari. So you know how I told you that I was doing this show to help find my ghosted family member? Yeah. I've honestly been doing this show to find Destiny. Destiny, your ex-girlfriend Destiny? Yeah. When I told you that I broke up with Destiny, I really didn't break up with Destiny. I just ghosted her. OK. Um, There's something else that I need to tell you. She texted me and told me that she was pregnant. Pregnant with whose baby? With mine. So I didn't know what I'll, what to do. I just, I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to make How you How old mad. is this baby? One and a half, two. So wait, we've been together this whole time. This whole time. And you've been lying to me? I didn't know how to tell you, Kari. You're a liar. I thought I was making the right decision. Nah, you better be glad I'm gonna slap the out of you right now. I didn't lying want to me about a kid. You to leave me, I didn't want you to be upset. I didn't want to lose you. While they give Russell some space, Travis and Rachel dive into Destiny's social media, where they find her sister who agrees to meet up with them. Did she ever tell you why they ended, why he goes to her, or ever talk about Russell after that? No, she didn't bring him up. I mean, I don't know what the situation was, but it had to be something pretty bad for her to basically flip the roles on what he did to her. She was really devastated. He left her traumatized. Is Russell the father of the baby? Well, I, f I feel like that's not really my place to say. I feel like you should talk to her about that. Janae, I know you don't want to give us Destiny's information, which we totally get, but is it OK if you call her and maybe you know tell her that you're with us and we just have a couple questions? OK, yeah, that's fine. OK, I'm going to put you on speaker. 
Hey, Hi, uh, Destiny. it's Travis and Rachel here doing a show with MTV about ghosting. We were contacted yeah. by Russell. I know a lot about ghosting. <laughs> yeah. We've no, gathered. Yeah. I don't have anything to say to him. Look, it's it's been very clear to us that what Russell did was wrong, but you know, over the last two years, he's had a lot of time to think. I find that very interesting, being that he's been ghosting me for a long time now. He's been desperately trying to get in contact with you to try to make things right. Are you able to meet up today? I'm about to start my shift, but if you guys want to meet right now. Perfect. Now that they've finally gotten in touch with Destiny, it's time for Travis and Rachel to get her side of the story. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Destiny. Thank you for coming for agreeing to meet with us. Russell reached out to us. He gave us the background and kind of explained to us what happened. We understand what Russell did. You guys have no idea. Were you aware that he was trying to get in contact with you over the last four months? Yeah. We know that you texted him a picture of the sonogram. And then it was after that that he completely ghosted you. You know, I'd rather not touch bases on that right now. But Russell's the father of your baby, right? I'm going to go ahead and get back to Okay, look, so, Destiny. I don't, we don't, we just I don't want to ask time. you a couple look, more questions. Look. I know that we're two strangers, and I know you're busy, but if you could just agree to meet up with Russell, first he can explain to you why he ghosted you, because that's what happened first. But then you can also explain to him why you're ghosting him. I think that it would be great for both of you to just air it out. You know, I, I honestly agree. I still have things to get off my chest, and I honestly want to know why he ghosted me. Okay. So, text me. Any information you guys need, but I actually have to get going, you guys. Okay. I have to get Thank going. Thank you so much for your time, Destiny. We appreciate it. That was the weirdest interaction I've ever had. Listen, she agreed to meet them. Exactly, Rachel. Exactly. So now, after two years, it's time for Destiny and Russell to come face to face. Destiny, I'm so sorry for just getting up and leaving you. There's nothing that you did wrong a year and a half into our relationship. I started battling with my sexuality. I wasn't happy waking up every day not knowing who I was. I still loved you so much, but it was just something way deeper than that. For a couple of months before I just vanished, I was cheating on you. You sent me a message telling me that you were pregnant. My heart dropped. I was so ashamed to explain this to you. I was so ashamed to explain to my child that I'm gay. I mean, it was sickening to me. So I just got the idea not to talk to you no more. So when you told me you was pregnant, I felt like that would be best for my child, and best for you, so you wouldn't be ashamed of me. <laughs> it took me a lot of time, a lot of self-growth, to be telling you this today. It hurts my heart to think what I've done to you. I took advantage of two innocent people's feelings to help me figure out myself, and that was wrong. But. We have a child now, and I want to be in my child's life. Now you want to be a dad, Russell? Four months ago, I tried to reach out to you. I went by the house that you used to live. I made several fake pages to hit you up. I had enough courage in me to come forth that you were just ghosting me. I didn't know what happened to you. I didn't know what else to do, so I reached out for help. I'm ready to be a dad, Destiny. I'm ready to co-parent with you. I'm ready to move forward in my life. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Destiny. I'm so sorry. I brought the baby a gift because I didn't know if it was a girl or a boy, so. You older us. I wanted you to take this. Wow. Honestly, That gift 
I guess doesn't matter. What do you mean? What's up? What's, what's the problem? Listen, like, me being gay has up. nothing to do Listen, with me being a dad. It's not about then you what being is gay. It? It's then not about you being what gay. What is it? The real reason that I've been ghosting you is because there is no baby. I had a miscarriage. No, this please don't play with me. I know you <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I need I need some air. I need. <coughs> Were you afraid to tell Russell because you felt like he was gonna react that way? I was just so like hurt having to relive this emotion. It's still so like it's like I'm living it all over again. It's all out on the table, and it's time for the moment of truth. Russell and Destiny now have to decide whether they want to make up or ghost forever. Russell, Destiny, do you guys have any any other things that you want to say to one another? I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for you. I know you would have been a great mom. Hopefully I can keep you in my life still. <sighs> I definitely wish that this was something that could have been addressed sooner, and you know, I definitely wish that I would have had your support during such a traumatic time. Please send your final text now. Russell, what did you decide? He was my best friend, and I don't want to make excuses for my actions. I just want you to forgive me I want to make up. Okay, Destiny, what did you decide? <clears throat> I decided to ghost. Why did you decide that, Destiny? Honestly, I've been dealing with this for two years, and it's a lot of built up anger. We're on two different paths. I'm starting a new life now, and that's just what I choose to do. And I'm ready to go home. Okay. So, how do Russell and Destiny feel now that a few months have passed? All right, let's give Russell a call and see how my hometown is doing. Russell. Hi, Russell. Hey, Rachel and Travis. How you doing, man? You guys really helped me close the door that I've been held open in my life for so long. If it wasn't for you guys, would be at peace with myself. No, it was so emotional the last time we left you. Have you spoken to Destiny at all? Actually, Destiny reached out to me. She hey. told me that she forgives me. And wow. we've been talking about hopefully rekindling a friendship that we lost. All right, man, take it easy. All right, see Peace you out. Okay. Let's check in with Destiny. Hey, Rachel. What's hey. up, Destiny? Hi, Destiny. How are you? A lot has changed since I seen you guys last. I did have time to think about everything. I was upset, but I've forgiven him. Right now, we are just slowly working on building our trust, and I really do appreciate you guys to me get that closure that I needed. We are so happy you found your peace. Thank cool. you guys. Of course. Yeah, we wish you the best. Bye, Destiny. Bye.